Hello friends, this video on triangles part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more example. So the question is AD and BC, AD and BC, they are equal perpendiculars to the line segment AB, the line segment AB and they are two equal perpendiculars. So we have to prove that CD bisects AB. CD bisects AB. That means we have to prove that AO is equal to BO. AO is equal to BO. That is what we have to prove. Okay. So we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So let's draw in this fashion. Let's draw these two triangles. This is OAD. Let's draw again O. Now we see angle A is 90 degree, angle B is 90 degree. So put a point B here. The third is C. That is judged by experience. This angle A is 90 degree and B is 90 degree. So this is 90, this also has to be 90. So I have put a B here. Now let's see what is given. It is given that AB and BC, AD and BC are equal. So this is AD and this is BC. They are equal. Everything equal given. Now, if you see that this angle and this angle are equal. Why? They are vertically opposite angle. So now if you see you have angle, angle and side. Okay. So we have angle, angle and side. And we know that angle, angle, side is a congruency. Those two triangle side angles are equal. Third angle is also equal. All the three, three angles are equal, one side is equal, that means they are congruent, you know that. So we can actually prove it. So we have the data. Two angles, angle, angle, and side, angle, angle, and side, they are congruent, so they are equal. So let's just write in plain English. And if that is done, we can actually prove that AO is equal to OB because they are corresponding sides of the congruent triangles. So we just say that angle ODA and triangle OCD. Okay, so we we'll say that. Angle DOA on the first triangle is equal to angle COB on the first second triangle. The reason is vertically opposite triangle. And then we say that angle OAD is equal to angle OBC. Angle. And then we can say that DA is equal to BC. That is given. So triangle ODA is congruent to triangle OCD by AAS. Since they are congruent, I can say that OA is equal to OB. Why? Since triangle ODA is congruent to triangle OCD. And since O is equal to OB, that is what we have to prove. AO is equal to B or OA is equal to OB, both are same. Thus, it is proved. Let's take some more examples. So we have line L and M. They are parallel lines and they are intersected by another pair of parallel lines, P and Q. So L is parallel to M and P is parallel to M. We have to prove that triangle ABC and C D are congruent. So this A and then followed by B and then C. C D A. So it is C then D then A. So we have to prove that these two are. Let's see anything else is given. See actually if you see this is parallel to this, this is parallel to this, this is actually a parallel of R. Okay. And let's see where is A B C. A B C And where is DAC? DAC is at long distance. It is drawing long distance. Okay. Now, if you see actually the four parallel lines actually forms a parallelogram. So we can easily say that ABCD is parallelogram. Right? Similarly, 
since they are parallel ram i can say that ab is equal to dc so let's see ab is equal to dc sides of parallelogram so only bc is equal to ad bc is equal to ad sides of parallelogram i can see that angle b is equal to angle d opposite angle of parallelogram thus we can see that side angle side side angle side you can prove it okay that is the mental calculation so now let we'll write in areas okay so we can say that abc is parallelogram since ab is parallel to cd and ad is parallel to bc that is one step second step then we can say that ab is equal to cd And then you can say that opposite side of parallelogram. Similarly, AD is equal to BC. AD is equal to BC. Here or you also you can see opposite side of parallelogram. And then angle ABC is equal to angle CDA. ABC and CDA. You can see that. Same. Angle of parallelogram. Therefore, these two triangles ABC and triangle CDA are congruent by side angle side. Side angle side. And that is what we have to. Pretty easy. So first, understand the question. Solve it mentally, and then just write plain English. So if you spend time just writing these English statements, you'll get confused. First, solve it, and you can actually get two triangles with this kind of uh, side angle side congruent. You can just you know that it is congruent, and you can just write plain English to prove it. So that the teacher who is checking your question or who is checking your answer will understand that you have solved it. Line L is the bisector of angle A. That means this angle is equal to this angle. There are two angles here. And this angle is equal to this angle. B is any point on line L. B is any point on line L. BP and BQ are perpendiculars to the arm of angle A. So we have to prove that angle triangle A. P B so first write A and then P so P and then B similarly A Q B write A and then Q and then B it is first step they are common we have to prove so let's see what all is common given is there any common sign A B A B yes there is no anything else is given yes you see B Q A B Q A this angle is ninety degree an angle BPA is also ninety degree. This angle is also ninety degree. So they are same. Okay. Let's see another angle. BAQ, BAQ. This angle is equal to BAP. So this is also given. Okay. Now if you see in this case, AAS, AAS, angle, angle side, angle, angle side, and they are equal. Just by looking at this figure, like that you can say that they are congruent. Right, angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. That is something you know. That is you are done with this. Now let's write in plain English. So you can see that in triangle APB and triangle AQB. Okay, so you can say that this angle, angle APB, is equal to angle AQB. Okay, they are ninety degree angle. Next is angle PAB is equal to angle QAB, and this one you can say that L is bisector of angle A. L bisects angle A. And then you can say that AB is equal to AB. Common. 
So triangle APB is congruent to triangle AQB and by AAS. Next is we have to prove that BP is equal to BQ. So we see that you can see that BP is equal to BQ can directly say they are corresponding side of this two triangles. So BP is equal to BQ corresponding sides of triangle APB and triangle AQB. Okay, so that is done. Pretty easy. So you have to just first draw the triangle and then prove it that they are congruent. In most of the questions for triangle proof, you will have the same thing. You have to first draw the triangles, the rough, and then prove it is congruent and then just write in the plain English. Let's take a few more examples now. So it is given that AC is equal to AE. AC and AE both are equal. AB is equal to AD. That is also given PAD and EAC angle are also equal. We have to prove that BC and DE are equal. So let's draw first this BC and let's draw DE. We have to prove that these two are equal. So we'll try to prove two triangles are congruent where these two are sides. Now if you see BC, BC is the base. We can actually draw this triangle ABC. Okay, so let's put it here. And now, if AB is equal, it is equal to AD. So I have to put, put A here. Okay, now if you see, if we draw these two triangles, we're just trying by luck. If not, we'll draw some other triangles. So AB is equal to AD given, AC is equal to AE given, BAD, B. B is equal to EAC. EAC. Triangle is not there. BAD is here and EAC is here. But we have to find BAC. So if you see BAC is nothing but let's mark this as angle 1. And this is angle 2 and this is angle 3. Okay. Now if you see angle BAC is what? It's nothing but angle BAC plus angle DAC that is angle 1 and let's see angle DA. angle DA is what DAE is nothing but angle 3 that is angle EAC plus angle 1 so you see now BAD is equal to EAC that is given these two angles are equal right angle 1 is same constant we are adding Therefore, you can say that angle BAC is equal to angle DA. What is this angle is equal to the same? Now, if these two triangles are if these two angles are equal. Now you can see that angle side angle sorry, side angle side side angle side. By that, these two triangles are congruent. See, if these two triangles are congruent. I can say that BC is equal to D. That is the mathematical calculation. Now let's write in English plain English. Okay, so we can say that. In triangle BAC and triangle DAE, okay, BA is equal to DA given, AC is equal to A, that is also given, triangle BAC is equal to angle DAC, and that I can say equation 1. Therefore, triangle B C is congruent to triangle DAC and therefore BC is equal to DE and that's proved. So in this question they had not given which two triangles to uh, prove congruency for. So first it, we knew that we had to prove that these two sides are equal so we just drew these two sides and then we guessed the triangles based on the data given and then once this is done, we could actually prove the two triangles to be congruent and then since these two triangles are congruent, the corresponding sides are equal and thus BC is equal to D. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. 
You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.